Do I need a neck lift, neck lipo, a chin implant, something else? It looks okay when I'm looking straight ahead, but then when I look down a little bit, fat and loose skin. What is the best approach to treat this? Neck lift, lipo, chin implant, something else? Is this being caused by a small chin? Thank you for your question. You've submitted your question with two photos uh, of the lower part of your face. One with, your, with you appearing to look straight ahead and one with your chin downward. And you state in your question that from the side you look pretty good when your face is looking straight and then when your chin goes down there's all this appearance of extra skin. So you want to know do you, uh, do you need a uh, neck liposuction, a chin implant, or what essentially is the solution for your appearance of your neck when your chin is moved downward. Well, I can certainly share with you how I have this discussion with my patients who frequently have comparable and similar concerns. A little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years and helping people improve the appearance of their neck has been a big part of my practice, doing everything from facelifting, face and neck lifting, uh, liposuction, chin implants, uh, as well as injectable fillers uh, to help improve the appearance of this area. So I can tell you that in uh, my career over the course of these past 20 plus years, uh, there is a certainly greater understanding of what are some of the anatomic issues that are responsible for this change, which is typically associated with facial aging. So to begin with, it's important to understand that there is a certain element of this that is, or a significant part of this issue, which has to do with just the skin's elasticity. And what I mean by that is that as we get older and the soft tissue under the skin gets thinner, the skin's elasticity, the, the relative um, proportions of different types of collagen and other proteins in the skin changes. So very often people as they start getting into their 40s and older will come to me and pull on their skin and, and then watch that the skin doesn't retract as well and go, what am I supposed to do with this? And they think, well, can't you just tuck it or pull it all the way from the back of the neck? And so certainly there has, in the earlier part of my career, the approach would typically be to do some kind of facelifting procedure. And the, basically what you're doing with a facelift procedure is you are taking care of any redundant skin and you're increasing the tone of that area. That doesn't mean you eliminate everything when your chin goes downward. It improves it. And I'm not saying that that's necessarily the right thing for you because there's other areas that also have to be evaluated before making that decision. One of the things that I also have noticed as time has gone on, having been around for the pre-internet era and seeing what has transpired as everyone is looking at their smartphones, is that generally I'm finding that posture has had an incredible impact on this area and what people see when they look in the mirror. I feel that people have become, their postures in terms of their back and shoulders are getting more rounded. They're rounding forward, they're holding their phones close up like this, and their necks are extended forward and they're hunched over. And all you have to do is just look around and notice how many people, whether they're on the subway or the bus or, or, or anything, and, or they're sitting around, and notice how their posture has changed. What that contributes a lot to this relative appearance of excess. So there have been times where I've taken a patient who had a similar concern and I just adjusted their posture, not, not anything chiropractic, but just had them bring their shoulders back and their chin up and align their ear to the shoulder and lo and behold, a considerable amount of neck skin has 
has miraculously um, improved. Now, that being said, the other element of facial aging that I think is really relevant here is also having to do with relative bone loss. And a, lo a lot of times, and again, I'm judging this based on a limited photo, but assuming that you, the, the photo rep is representative of someone who has a relatively thin face and is in their 40s or older, there is a, an approach where you are actually adding volume to the diminishing structure. What I'm saying is essentially as we get older, and this is documented in the plastic surgery literature, there's bone loss. And with that bone loss comes this relative deflation of the foundation of the face and the skin appears to be excess. So what we do is something called structural volumizing, which means we are using uh, fillers that are on the thicker side, such as a Juvederm Ultra Plus or Juvederm Voluma and placing it strategically, such as in the cheekbone area, the jawline, the jaw angle, the chin, you're actually restoring a lot of structure and it has the effect that can be comparable in many ways to a facelift. So a strategy essentially is you're looking at um, is something to, quote, tighten the skin relative to the underlying structure versus adding volume to the structure and restoring some of that support. Now, of course, there are many ways to also improve skin elasticity up to a certain limit. And the challenge I find in my practice is, of course, helping patients get the best value for their, uh, their investment in, in resources and time. A lot of times people look to try to get tightening of their skin and even if you get the skin a little bit tighten it, tighter through a non-surgical approach, whether it's a radio, radio frequency or laser device, if it doesn't tighten that significantly and the, the before and after is not that dramatic, well, it's hard to justify that. So I find myself gravitating towards restoring volume more than trying to tighten the skin, and again, it's, it's, it's always customized on an individual basis. Everyone comes with different anatomy, uh, skin types, um, history uh, such as uh, cigarette smoking, sun exposure, etc. There's There really is a customization necessary for every individual case. And then we have to figure out what is the most practical. So learn about these options such as structural volumizing, uh, I think that a full facial evaluation is necessary, a physical examination is necessary, but I think there's, there's certainly an opportunity. And, and also, don't forget about uh, looking at your own posture and seeing if there's any potential um, benefit there. And I suspect you might find some use in that little pearl. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.